to my channel. This is a process video for the Paper Crafters YouTubers where we do some type of theme every month on the first Saturday of every month. And this one is the Joyful Joy YouTube Hop. And it's just pretty much interpret however you want. If someone makes you um, joyful or something that you're appreciative of, whatever you want to look at it. So what I have decided is, is that I am going to cherish these moments of my crazy husband when he has his surgeries and I get the faces that I do. And I will be honest, it is fun to watch what my... <laughs> friends say on Facebook because this man never smiles. So um, I am doing out of my volume number one sketchbooks. I am doing sketch number six and I am using the Mercy Tierra's um, Kit Club January kit. Now I am using that kit because I absolutely love this kit. It works out wonderful. I've got one big photo and then one little small one to match up with the sketch as since it is my own product, I will link everything down below. You can get just this sketch um, book or you can get all three or you can get one or um, them all individual. It is all linked down below um, for my sketchbooks to get because I make my own um, and use them quite a bit. Now here I am, I am mixing up all of these little lines, doing what I normally do. And I decided that I am going to bedazzle these lines up with some Distress Oxides and then go to town on embellishments. Make sure that you check out everybody's um, link down below regarding the Joyful Joy um, YouTube hop and our theme because I think we will have a good doozy. I really like this theme. And sometimes it's about how you interpret it. So my interpretation, I'm going to be honest, is just really in retrospect of, you know, the joyful faces of my husband is pretty much the way I wanted it to, you know, maximize, if you know what I mean. Because <laughs> my, my husband can definitely be something else. <laughs> so I am going to do the black marking on the teal. Um, and I'm just going to make sure that it's all the way around just to give that little bit of um, marking. And I do go along the black, but you can't really see it. But it does um, add a little bit of something extra to it um, in that regards. But I am going to place this down and then that those lines are going to run across. And then pretty much um, that will be my background in a sense of that. I wanted to make sure that I line this up exactly where I kind of want it so that it's in the e like in the middle of this and so that it's all straight and ready to roll, you know, so that it's all mixed up. So there are my two faces of my husband. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. I'm so glad to have you. I do upload between two to three times a week, design teams, collaborations, all of that fun stuff. However, my husband does not smile. He has made it apparent because most of my friends will comment, well, why doesn't your husband smile? So he makes it a point to not smile anymore. But when we get the RFAs done, um, it's a long story, but when he would get those done, that's when we would get the faces of Joshua Weber that we typically wouldn't get because he's loopy doopied up and be able to go into the background to get his, you know, to go to the back with the doctor and get um, his surgery done. And then we go home for the day and he gets the next three days off and, you know, he's good for a good year, year and a half. Well, the way for, you know, the way where we used to go versus the way we do it now we would get both sides of his back done in one shot. So that would give him a lot of medication, as you will, and we would get a lot of these faces. Well, the one thing I like about these faces is they're not the normal ones, but they're the ones I normally get that are not on camera, that the people in front of the, or behind, you know, in front of the camera that he sees and that I post on social media, I don't just post them on there because of his faces. It just so happens this is how it goes. So essentially, we get the funny faces of Joshua and 
We, you know, we don't make fun of him. We laugh with him because ultimately he does this on purpose. But he really does it on purpose when he's got to have the RFAs done because the medicine makes him do these things. Like he, yeah. So anyway, my title is going to be Cherished Moment or Cherished Memory because, let's be real, these are memories that I will forever remember not just because they're in my book, but because I have to live these things with, with this man. <laughs> I love this dude. He is definitely something else. But uh, I love that Colorcast Designs made this um, made this title because it works out well. It is kind of like a pun, but yet in the retrospects, I really love how this turns out. So I'm going to take this, you remember those recorders way back in the day where you would find pic, um, your pictures in between there? I remember those. I loved those things. And um, so I cut some of it out and placed part of it down on the bottom. And then you'll see where I bring in that other piece. I kind of make it to where it comes alive on that other one. And it looks like I cut a piece of it out to round out that corner piece of that area. So now I'm just going to embellish. I am going to do a lot of embellishing here. I really, really love how this turns out. I feel that um, some of the pun that is on this Simple Stories collection works out well. Like, I put the word true color up there on the top. Right there, I was going to use so me. But it, it you'll see, I come up with another way of doing it on the side. There's another piece. There, here it is. It's like, hi, it's me. That's the other piece I'm going to use. And then I do um, good times, which you'll see how I get it. It'll still kind of look like it's a paint brush, but I do a little bit of a piece there. You'll see how I do this. Um, but I really like how this goes. So my sketchbook had a big four by six paper or four by six photo, which is what I have. And then a smaller two by twos on the bottom. I decided to do just the one, um, in that sketch. So make sure that you go check it out. I am working on volume number four. I'm super excited to have that come out. I'm hoping that it'll come out, um, before school starts, but if not, it'll come out right, like closely right after, um, that I'm working on that volume. I'm super excited for it. I think that it'll, that you guys will have a lot of fun with it. And just, you know, going, just I just love using sketches. I am placing these little, they're like earrings up on the top. I really like those hearts. Um, and then it's like cherished memories, good times about me. I think that that fits Joshua Earl to the T. I love the man. <laughs> and some days I wonder about him. <laughs> Don't we all with our husbands in that sense? But it works out well. Make sure that you go check out everybody, like I've said before. Make sure that you go check out all of the ladies down below. Make sure that you like and subscribe. If you're coming from their channel, welcome. I'm so glad to have you. I do upload between two to three times a week. Collaborations, design teams, all of the good stuff. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. I would love to know... Um, if you like this, all of that fun stuff, if you have not purchased my sketchbook, I would love for you to go check them out. It is all linked down below. Check and see if it is something that you love because I know I love making them and I love providing them for you. I do do a free monthly crop where you get one of my sketches on a monthly basis for free and then I add them all to the next, um, I add them every month and then you get um, a free one from me. So now here I am doing the splatters, all of that fun stuff. Like I said, everything is linked down below. Make sure you do all that YouTube stuff, all of that fun stuff. Here I am. I'm just doing my splatters. I'm going to leave you with that. The still shots are coming up. I hope that you guys are all staying safe. Have a wonderful day and I will talk to you soon. Bye. <laughs>